about halfway through, at which point the plaintiff cut out in front of me. I beat my horn to alert him that Did I was I there. I didn't know if he had seen me or not. At which point... I went to her house. She was a good friend of mine. I was telling her about... Hey, Ms. Catherine, I'm listening. Well, she's telling the truth that I went to her house, but beyond that, it did not happen anything like that. Well, tell me how it happened. I went to the plaintiff house. gave me a she thumbs up in the rear view mirror, he kind of hit his brakes a little bit. I didn't really want to play games, so I pulled back into the middle lane. He cut back in front of me at this point. I then pulled back into the left lane to pass him. As I drove up next to him, I looked over at him. It kind of shook my... And her bottom moved, and she said, let me help you out. Let me give you some money. And I said, I can't pay you back. She said, no problem. Don't worry about it. Miss Kefoff, let me ask you a question. You've been... I had, like, what's going on? I thought it was a young kid trying to just... How long? Uh, two years. How did you meet him? I... attended a class that she taught. I thought I was listening. Well, she's telling the truth that I went to her house, but beyond that, it did not happen anything like that. Well, tell me how it happened. I went to and her I house. I played games, antagonized the situation. I, I was saw that it was an older man, this gentleman here, at which point I just drove away. Didn't think anything of the incident. Okay. Stand up. You have a seven-year-old child. You could either make her childhood miserable or you could make her childhood happy. I guarantee you this. If you make her child miserable, she's going to get back at you tenfold exactly. with her behavior. She's going to... You're far too involved with this, sir. You're far too involved. Because she's hiding. I have full custody. He wasn't in her life. I wasn't asking for child support. And every time, every time we move to get away from him, they end up finding us, and my my life and my family life was in danger. So we decided to move to Washington. And when, right. when I want to tell you something. Unless this family court judge was totally out of his mind, he would never have returned the child to her father. Now, I don't know what the circumstances were, and I have absolutely no intention of spending two and a half hours to figure out the whys. All I know is her father went to court twice that I know of, probably more, in order to get visitation with his daughter, which I have a feeling, based upon what I'm hearing over here, was probably made difficult for him. Probably made difficult for him. Otherwise, I don't understand why he would spend time and money to go to family court and seek visitation. Seek an order of visitation. I don't understand. You have no case. Goodbye. Excuse me. He's putting false accusations on me. He has false restraining orders against me. It was really good. Justice was served. Got people threatening me coming to my house. Not sure at all. Not sure. Him and his family members coming to my house with weapons and pulling up on me with guns and stuff. And he won't move out of my child's life. I've moved out of the state. I moved to protect myself. We didn't do anything to harm her, jumping us or any kind of way. It's time to wire up. Just hope that we can move on from this and get better. And now, the next case. All parties in a matter of Hall versus Rogers. Step forward. Jason Hall is suing mechanic Dwayne Rogers for a refund for uncompleted repairs and a parking ticket. Mr. Hall, he wanted to do a nice thing. Fix up your car, an old car that you had to give it to your nephew. When was that? September the 9th, uh, 15th, excuse me. Of this year? Correct. Okay. Did he fix the car? No, ma'am, he did not. And then your car got towed? That's correct. From the street? Correct. You had to get it out? Correct. How much did that cost? Um, about $200. $250, if I can check here, Your Honor. How much? 
It's about, uh, not about.